What is a metro for that matter? Uh, the metro, it's like a mechanized snake underground. Mac snack. Right, let's have a look. Transition time. Whoop, whoop. This is Metro X. Metro X is a flip and right game. So there are roll and write games where you roll dice and then you write stuff down. This is a flip and write game where you flip a card and then you, whatever the card says is, is how the game works. There's a few different kinds of cards in this game, but the gist of it is you are trying to complete train lines. You're trying to run them from point A, which is this little train here, all the way to their conclusion, which is a solid circle at the end. So I'll just do a little zoom so you can see what I'm on about. Uh, so as you can see here, this is where the train lines all start. And then you will follow the train line as it runs to the, uh, like the highlighted circle. And that's the end of a train line. If you complete the train line in the solo mode, you will get this gold, like triangle, not triangle, this gold diamond? What is that shape? I've lost my ability to know what shapes are these days. Anyway, if you complete the line, you get a, uh, you get two points. If it was multiplayer, if you're playing with other people, whoever completed the train line first would get the gold point, and whoever completed it second would get the slower, the lower amount of points. Uh, we're going to play it based on solo rules, just to keep it simple. Um, so, you know, if you complete a train line, you will get the gold points. And don't worry about the points in the white boxes. But the gist of the game is you will be flipping cards and you'll be filling in these train lines. You're going to fill them in from left to... Oh, I say left to right. You're going to be filling them in from this train and you're going to follow the track to its conclusion. You have to put the numbers in in... No, you have to mark the boxes off in order. So I'll give you an example. I've got some example cards up above, so let's go back to the original view. Boop. Okay, so let's imagine that we're playing a game. Can you even imagine that? I can. My imagination is boundless. So what happens is, this is how the game works. You flip a card. Hey, look, it's a five. Who could have seen that coming? Then what you've got to do is you've got to choose one of your carriages to write the number five in. So you can see some of them have three spaces. Some of them have two. And they all score kind of a variety of different points for completing them. This number here, this five, denotes how many boxes you're going to be crossing off along the track. So just so you know, Tom, this isn't the start of the game. This is just the explanation of the game. So if it's a number that comes up, in this case a five, I would choose one of the train lines and I would say I'm going to mark off in the red. So I'll write a little five in the red and then I'll go one, two, three, four, five. The orange and the red line both go through the same station. So in this case, this is helping me progress the orange line without using any of the boxes. Because once the boxes are full, you can't add any more crosses to that line via this add a number style format. It's not a blue line, Bass. No, this is just any line at all. So none of the lines are color coded in this deck. It's literally just going to give you a number and it's going to say you can put those numbers into any lines whatsoever. Let's get another example out here. Oh, we won't use that one. That's a little bit different. So let's get another card out. Not a five. We've had one of them. Uh, okay, we've got a three. So let's just give another example. Now we've got a three. So same story again. You'll be looking at your different train lines and you'll be trying to move those lines along. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see a little bit closer. Um, okay, so again, I can, I can put the number three in any of these little trains in the little three windows that you've got available. And what you're trying to do again, is you're trying to get from the start all the way to the conclusion. Um, so let me go ahead and pick another example that will highlight some interesting mechanics. So here we go. Let's go, uh, three in the purple, and then we'll go one, two, three. As you can see, that's 
part of the end of the red line, so that's making it easier to complete the red line, because there's still one, two, three, four, five spaces between there and the end. Um, I could continue, uh, Bass has asked, could you continue your red or orange line? So you have to start it from the train and continue it along, but I could. I could have put a three there and then continued on the orange line, or I could have put a three here and continued the red. The reason why um, you might not want to do that is it might be... Well, I'll, I'll get to that. So I'll flip another card and give another example. Uh, let's not use the six reshuffle yet. Let's give you um, another example. Here we go. So there's another type of card. Here's another type of card, a transfer card with an X in it. What that means is you are going to draw an X. You're going to actually um, draw an X into one of your carriages, and then you're going to choose, and you have to follow existing tracks. You can't, you can't put this little transfer point anywhere, but I'll give you an example here. Here, you're going to count how many different colored lines go into a station. In this case, we've got red, orange, and green, and then times that by two. So here that would be six points. And let's say I decided that was going to be on the orange line. So I'd put a little X in there, but that's one of the two spots full now. So this transfer gets you points, immediately gets you points. So here a, a very poor six, but I've written a six. Uh, and that's, that's how that box works. You would do that, but it has to go from an existing track. So if I was trying to place it somewhere else, you know, for example, I could place it here. If we get rid of this example here, I could put the transfer in this box, and that's got blue, green, like a, a teal kind of color, orange, and purple. So that's one, two, three, four, five different lines. That would be 10 points. And I could choose, you know, one of those lines to cross off. Um, but it has to be on a route's first stop. So I could only do it on the purple line in this case, because you can only put a transfer station on the end of an existing line. So I couldn't say that belonged to a green or a yellow or um, even though those lines do it or a blue, it has to has to run from any. Oh, no, I could do blue, actually. So I, I, in this case, I would do blue. So it has to run off an existing line when you choose to use the transfer. That's, an, that's another example. Another example is a free one. In this case, you don't use any of the boxes, any of the windows. All you're going to do is anywhere you want. Literally anywhere. This is the only time you can do this. Anywhere on the board, you can cross out one of them. So I could say, I'm working towards yellow. I'm going to cross out a yellow all the way over here. Could do that. Or I could find a gap that was in my tracks that I didn't like and say, okay, well, I'm going to I'm just going to put another X here to try and work towards these reds. This is totally free. And you don't use the windows for that. All right. Here's another example. So I'm going to give you one more example before we do that. Let's say I'd put three on this red line. Let's say I've, let's say I've completed the red line. Let's say I've completed the red line and the red line is... So I had a five and a six and I completed the red line. Um, now, what I'm going to show you is what happens if I get a number that comes out and there's already a cross on the track, but you haven't started along that line. Hey, the craft and social, lovely to see you. Welcome. We've not started the game yet. I'm just explaining it. So if you do want to join in, I will just put in the chat exclamation mark game if you did want to join if you don't want to join that's cool just hang out hang out and chat um so here's another example let's say for example i wanted to use the five on the yellow line there's already an x here but what happens is is when you start filling in crossing out the numbers if you hit an, an existing station that stops the number so if i wrote a five here i would literally go one station and stop i wouldn't go any further than that or if I wrote a five in the green section, I would go one, two, three, four, then stop. So I would lose some of that number. And you can always choose to use less of the number than it says. You could choose to only use three instead of five or four instead of five, if that suits you. And the reason for that is because if you block tracks, if you block the track, that means 
that when a number hits it, it stops. So let's say in the pink area, we could go one, two, three, and then it gets stopped. The five would stop continuing along. It wouldn't uh, carry on along that way because if there's already a cross along its path, that stops that number in its tracks. So that's one of the really important rules of this game is you've got to have space to write the number in a window to be able to fill in the line, rule number one. But rule number two, other crosses in the tracks will stop your train in its progress. And then it will be able to continue on another card afterwards. But as you start filling in the board, you're going to start making these little bits with gaps in that make it hard to get around. So this is where this particular card comes in. We have got a, what, a skip card. What's a skip card? A skip card allows you to bypass pre-existing stations. So let's say I do a, a two skip here in this little yellow one. So I can go cross one out and then skip the ones that are already filled in to continue along the way. So there's some cards in the deck that say skip in them. There's not a lot. I think there's like a three skip and a two skip. So that's a way for you to bounce over existing stations and fill in gaps because gaps are gonna be what will prevent you from completing tracks and will cause you to lose numbers along the way um, when you don't have space to fill things in. What else have we got? Um, I think the only other thing that I haven't said yet, so we've got a couple of different skips in here, skip three, skip two, regular numbers, these transfers. So there's a two skip and a three skip. So there's two two skips and one three skip. So there's not a lot of skips in the deck. Would you have to skip a white space? So with the skip, they fill in the white spaces. So in this example here, this is what I had. And I got a two skip card. And when I fill that in, that means that I'm going to follow this line. If this was a four, for example, I would literally just cross out that first empty circle. And that would be it. Then it would get stopped by the next track. But with the skip, now all of a sudden I can go one and I can skip over as many filled stations as I like, continuing along the yellow line further on. In this case, I've done a skip two. So it's not telling you how many stations you're skipping. This number is how many stations you're filling in, but you also have the power to skip filled in stations, which normally you can't. So this isn't saying skip two stations. This is saying you can fill in two stations or you can fill in three stations, but you're allowed to skip stations that are already filled in. Normally you can't, normally they stop you. Sorry, I didn't explain that very well the first time around. So the skip isn't as in skip empty circles, it is fill in the circles, but skip the filled in stations. Hope that makes sense. Um, so I'll just go back through them again one more time, real quick. So I'll just fill in some more stuff like the game had continued a little bit. Um, I'm just going to do this as a random example. So it's not going to be a great one, but just to give you an idea of how the game works. Um, so, you know, say, for example, if I had a three here, I could go, OK, this gray line's really good to fill in because there's three spaces here and then it hits the station, which would stop it. But three's the perfect amount. So I'll write a three in there and then go one, two, three. Let's draw another card. OK, now I've got a three. I've got a free uh, station I can cross out. I don't have to fill in any of these windows, which is great because there's a little gap here and I'll use it to fill in that gap and it doesn't fill in any of those windows to do so. Got another number, a number five here. Okay, so let's say we wanted to continue along the gray line and that number five would go one, two, three, four, five. And you can see I'm only one, two, three, four away from completing that line and getting some points. Um, and then you could say, okay, well, we've got a another one here. That's a skip two. In this case, the pink line would 
be getting stopped by this gray X on the gray line that's like come across here. So now I've got a skip that allows me to put a two in the pink line and then draw either side of that station. And then, you know, if you have a transfer come out, that now you have to choose uh, a stop that's on a line that has things already filled in on it. Um, or you could place it as a first stop on a line. And that is going to score the different colors of lines times two. So in this case, green, yellow, that's two times two, that's four. So I would write four there and I would have put it on the yellow line. So I would cross out in the little yellow bit there. Bassa said, hold on. Okay, I will hold on. You didn't have a skip in the last example, but continued beyond the cross station. That was a skip right there. I did have a skip. So in that example, I did the pink. This one here, skip two, and I drew here and here. So I went either, I went either side of it. I'm pretty sure I used that skip card just there. Before that. Um, but when I did the five here, one, two, three, four, five, along the gray line. Yeah, the gray line, I'm just following the gray line. I've not skipped anything. So on the gray line, I had five. So the gray lines filled in all the way up to here. And then I, I'll go one, two, three, four, five. And that's continuing along the gray line. I'd write the number in there. And that's following the gray line, not skipping anything. That says, yes, I see two crosses. So you start counting from the first empty space. Exactly, Tom. Yeah. So when you fill it in, you fill in from the first available space on that line and continue along it. It's okay if it crosses other lines. It's okay if it uh, crosses over lines that don't have a station on them. You just follow the line that you're shading in, crossing out, in this case, the gray, and you follow it along the track. Um, the only other thing I haven't mentioned is one of the cards is a six and it'll reshuffle the deck. There's not a huge amount of cards in the deck, so you'll be shuffling the deck probably twice, maybe even more times, depending on where the six shuffle is in the deck. Could be three, could be four, depends how it comes out. So you might not actually see all of the cards in the deck because this shuffle card might make you reshuffle the deck beforehand. Right, I'm going to rub all this out and we'll start again from scratch and I'll go a little bit slower. If there's a cross on the line stopping your progress in a forward fashion from the start onwards, that would stop your progress. In the example I showed you, I was carrying on from an, or an X that was already in the track. So in the case I gave, which was this, I was following the gray along the track towards its conclusion, which is up here. And I drew an extra five from there, one, two, three, four, five. I was just following the gray track. Nothing was in the way. Nothing was stopping the progress at all uh, in the example that I gave. But that is true. If there is a X, if it was like this, for example, um, if this was the case with the gray line, let's add a three and let's say... Just for argument's sake, let's say this was the gray line. The orange line is now interrupting the gray. So if I try to add a number, let's say a five, for example, I go to the first available space on the gray line, and that's where I would start. And I would draw an X there, but that next X on the gray line would stop the progress, and I wouldn't be able to continue any further, so I wouldn't use any more of that five I would still write a five in the window, but that would halt the progress of that particular line if that's where I chose to put it. You know, obviously in this case, you would use a different line, most likely. You wouldn't want to put it there because you would be missing out on four numbers along that track. 
but that would be an example of it preventing progress because of that in that case if the in this case if the next number rather than being a five was a two skip then you would write down number two i just draw a little circle around it to show it's a skip and that means if i'm doing that on the gray line i can go that and i can skip over a station because of the power and oops not go there and continue along the gray line like so that's what the skip does it allows you to skip over stations but normally you're just watching the the color of the track line and you're trying to continue along that track and again if you get a transfer line that's where you've got to choose um on an existing piece of track you follow a track along and then you're trying to in this case i would likely choose orange and i would go okay i'm going to do a transfer in orange i already would likely have used a lot of numbers in orange by this point but let's say i used orange so i would put an x in the orange to show that that was the color i was using and then I would have to put a number here. One, two, three, four. Four different colors going into this station. You double that, which means eight points go in there. At the end of the game, you're going to get points for your completed lines, the transfers that you've done, and you're going to lose points for every, or not every, but you're going to lose points for empty stations. If you can see here, not filling in stations at the end. If you don't fill in four, that's okay. There's no penalty. But the more stations you leave empty, the more points you're going to lose at the end of the game. So as you can see, you start losing points when it gets to 5. 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, 10 to 11, 12 to 13, etc, etc. So there's a penalty table for not completing any of the stations within the game. I'm, we're going to play this probably twice. So consider the first game a learning game. And then uh, we'll we'll play it again, you know, once once you're a bit more familiar with it, if you are playing along. So the first one, we'd, I'm just going to go through it. Um, and I'll explain what I'm doing as it goes. Um, because I always find it's easier when things have context. If you're trying to explain a game kind of out of context, it's a little bit more difficult. But the first thing you do is you unshuffle this deck of cards. I'm just going to place it down here so it's easier to see. So you're more zoomed in on my board. Um... And then I'll explain the cards as they come out again. And I'll explain my own mindset as I'm playing. If you want to play along, again, exclamation mark game. If you want to take part, you can um, download a sheet. You can use paint. You could print it out or whatever. Let me know if, if you want to take part and you still need to print something. I'll, I'll you know, stall a little bit. Um, thanks, Belligerent. I appreciate that. But if people are just going to watch, like I said, I'm going to play another game after this. I'll play two in a row. It doesn't take that long. Um, and that's what I like about it. You play a game and you're like, yeah, let's go again. Let's have another go. So I've scored. I've played this twice already. I only got it the other day. So I've played it twice today. And I got 39 and 47 in my first two games. Uh, I might not do as well on this. Like um, the rule book does give you a little uh, reference for scoring if you're playing solo. So if you get over 50 points, you're either a genius or have unspeakably good luck. I got 47 on my second game, which says you profess, you, you uh, possess professional level skill. I always knew it. I always knew it. Professional level skill. Um, so let's go ahead and pop the deck down here. And I'll leave some space below it. And that's where the card will go that we're playing with. So let's flip over the first card. Whoops. Well, I just revealed the second card. So let's give them a shuffle again. All right. This might be the stream that you hit 50, Tom. Okay, so this is our first card. First card is a four. So again, you're going to choose one of your trains and you're going to fill in one of the windows with this number. And then you'll be marking X's from the start of the line onwards to fill in that particular track. I'm looking if there's somewhere where I could place that that doesn't disrupt other lines at the start. So I'm going to actually choose to put this in the green section, I'll write a number four there, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And the reason why I've chose that is because I'm trying not to interrupt other lines flow at the minute. I'm trying to see what happens, keep my options open, because again, if you're blocking other train lines, that stops them from continuing. Jess says, hi, Ross. I'm going to just watch today, but I'm super stoked you got Metro X. I'm super stoked I got Metro X. 
it is a cool game. I, this is my third game of it. Um, so I, I'm liking it. I think it's really great. And oh, one thing I didn't mention is uh, there's two sides to this board. There's a different, more advanced side, Tube Town. Um, so if you want to kick it up a notch, you can flip the board over um, and play it on the other side. If you own a copy, uh, the free uh, print and play sheet that I've put online, that's just this side of the board. All right, let's go ahead and get another card out. Let's flip it. We've got another four. Who shuffled these cards? It was me. You saw me do it. Um, right, so where am I, what am I going to do with this? Again, I don't really want to disrupt. I don't really want to disrupt anything to start with. So let me... Mm, again, you've got to start... You've got to start with the lines here and then move through them. You can't write these num cross these things out anywhere. You've got to start, write the number in one of the boxes of the, you know, these train lines and continue along. One thing you're going to have to do, though, is train lines will help each other continue by them crossing over each other. So you're not going to complete all of the train lines. It's basically, if not impossible, it's highly unlikely. So what you really want to do is you want to prioritize the ones you want to complete. The numbers run from three to six. So you know four is a decent number to put onto a line, but it might not get you all the way to the end. I think I am going to... Hmm. I think I'm going to... Uh... I think I'm going to. One, two, three, four. Hmm. It's a start, I suppose. Let's do that. This is it already. I'm like, ooh, do I do I place it there or place it there? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the red line. The red line only scores you two points if you complete it, so I'm not um not super stoked for that. Duke says the Duchess has prepared dinner, so I'll jump off now. Looks great fun though. Taros. Thanks for stopping by, Duke. Always appreciate the company of royals. Uh, or regal folk. One, two, three, four. And again, this particular line, it's got the red and orange underneath it, which is moving this along the track a little bit. Uh, did we start? Yes, we did. So it's all right, Bass. All we've had is the number four. And then the number four again. So if you want to catch up, I'll just give you I'll just give you um, a couple of minutes just to catch up fast. So if you need time, I've had the number four. So again, you're starting from the left and going onwards. And then you shouldn't know the next number, but it doesn't matter. The next number's four as well. So two fours, that's what you've got, Bass. And just let me know in the chat once you've caught up, and then we'll continue with the next card. I really should have put a little timer to say when we were going to start, but ho oh, hum, you're back now, so that's all good. And again, I'm going to play two games, so you know, if anyone's anyone comes in partway through a game or decides they want to play after the first game, then you're more than welcome to um, to say so and get involved in the second game because we'll finish this one and then we'll, we'll just go again. It's that kind of game. It's that kind of game. Don't forget while we're waiting for Bass to catch up that. For every empty station at the end of the game, you're going to be losing points. You're going to try and fill in as many as possible as you can. And you only score points if you complete the lines. That's how you get these points. Continue, says Bass. So we shall. Next card is a skip two. Okay, so again, the, the it's a bit early for a skip card to come out. It's not allowing us to skip anything at the minute. All it's allowing us to do is just continue writing along a track. So it's not that exciting at the moment because, again, the skip power allows you to move over existing stations. So on my board, I wouldn't be skipping anything. I'd just be using the number two. That's all I'd be doing because I don't have anything to skip. So it's a pretty weak-ass number. Um, so I'm a little bit concerned that if I put that into a particular line, it may damage that line's ability to complete. Did some outrageous trains, says Bass. All right, what am I doing? I think I'm just going to put the two skip down here and maybe consider not completing this line, but we'll find out. All right, I'm going to do another card. 
Got a number five coming out. Big old number. What is that going to do for us? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. That could be good, but it is disrupting the yellow line pretty massively. But it's helping out the blue and the... It's helping out the blue and the purple. I might do that. I might do that. I'm going to do that. You know what? I'm doing it. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. What's this spooky music playing? All right, five along the track. I'm going to continue the game and carry on with the next card. Next card we have is a transfer. So a transfer is you need a longer track with trains on it or a longer track. You know, you're going to mark an X in the color of the line where you're going to be doing the transfer. So in this case, I'd be able to do it on the red line. Well, I'd be able to do it on any line, but it's on the first available stop. So I think it might be in my best interest here to maybe do a transfer on the green line. And there's two different lines coming into it. That would only be four points. I'm just thinking, what am I not disrupting? And I've already got an issue with having to skip a station here, so... It's not the end of the world having to do that again, but I am meaning that the red will have to skip as well to be able to complete its line. Hmm. But what options have I got? Purple, I could go along here, but that would only get me two points because there's only one line in it. And the red line, that would get me four points, or the orange line, that would get me four points. But it would make it really hard to finish that particular line off. So I think maybe... What I'll do is... What was I going to do? The green. It's going to make it really hard to finish the green line, though. If I do that, that could, that could, that could, that could, that could, that could. That one isn't. Okay, maybe, maybe it is doable. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a transfer here. So again, you count the color, how many different lines there are, and you times that number by two. So there's two different colored lines. That makes four points. Put a little X in the window of the green line, because that's where I've written the transfer on it. So that does occupy one of the three windows, which means it's going to be... Actually, if I, I've messed up, I'm not going to do that. That would make it impossible to finish that line. Gosh darn it, Ross. Why you got to be this way? I'm going to go ahead and do this on the red line. Because I'm going to sack off the red line. I'm not interested in it. I'm just going to let the red line go away. That's all right, Bass. So the transfer rules are you have to place the transfer X along a pre-existing line. So you could place it here, for example. And you count how many colored lines are going through that stop and times it by two. So in this case, there's two lines going through it. So I write four, and I cross out one of the windows from the line that it's on. I could have done it on the orange line and crossed out one of the orange ones, but I'm deciding that I'm not interested in trying to complete the red line because it doesn't score that many points. I'm going to focus on the lines that score more points. Whether that backfires, we'll find out, but that's how I've chosen to do it. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Going to have a new card coming out, and we've got a five. Okay. Okay, okay. So now that both the windows in the red are complete, I can't add this number five onto the red line. I was looking at it going, oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five. That would be enough to complete. But the train's full now, so I can't continue that line. So I'm gonna have to look to other places. Thank you very much for the hydrate, Booker Nerds, lovely to see you. I'm gonna have a sip of hot chocolate. So, my red line isn't complete, 
I cannot complete the red line because those windows are full. I cannot add the number five to that train because that train's full. If there's no space, you can't use the number on that train line. This, if I'd written number five, one, two, three, four, five, it would have completed it because there's only five stations between the start of the red line and the end of the red line. If there was another third box available, that would have allowed me to complete the red, but there isn't. So I'm just saying like hypothetically, if there was, that would allow me to complete it, but I can't use it because there's no space for the number five. So I can't use it on the red line. So I cannot complete the red line at all. It's impossible to complete now, pretty much. Um, right. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Mm, could go along there. Maybe I'll go on the orange. One, two, three, four. Then I'll get stopped by this. So I'd only get four out of that line. I could go here, one, two, but then I'd be stopped by that. So that would stop that. So maybe I'll go on this gray line here. Go with a five here and then go one, two, three, four, five. It's going to cause troubles for the orange line trying to run through. And it will cause troubles for the yellow line trying to run through. But hopefully we can work around that. All right, next card coming up. Another transfer. Damn. I think I'm going to put the transfer maybe on the gray line. Hmm. Do I? Or do I put it here? No, I can't put it there. What are my options? I could put a transfer here, but it would go via the orange line, which would make it really hard for me to finish the orange line. I could put it on the yellow line, but it wouldn't get me many points. It would just be here. I could put it on the gray line, which is here, which has got a few different colors going into it. One, two, three. So maybe I'll do that. I'm going to put the X there. And I will look at the gray line, the next available station. And there is blue, green, and gray going into it. So that would net me six points because it's how many colors times by two. Transfers do not end train tracks, but they count the same as an X. So if a train is trying to go along a track, if it's got a transfer on the end, it counts as the same as an X, as in it will block other lines and they can't get past it unless they use a skip. It's just a different way to make points as belligerent, exactly. So a, a transfer is, for all intensive purposes, the same as an X, but it's a different way of making points. In this case, transfers score points themselves, um, but they do fill up spaces and only fill up one square on your line. So they're a bit they're a bit tricky because you want them to score points, but they're also filling up your train lines and possibly causing blockages at junctions. All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw another card. Okay, we've got a two and a skip. Again, when it has the skip ability, what do the number cards go to? Six. Six is the highest number, Brilligerent. Six is the highest number. Two is the lowest. Six is the highest. The blue cards, which are just regular, I think they run from three to six. The skip cards have two and three on them. Um, there's a six card. That's a reshuffle. I'll reshuffle the deck. So gray will not complete. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It won't complete unless I fill in this one, this one, and this one, perhaps, and this one via other lines. I can remember other lines run through a lot of these stops. So perhaps I might be able to fill in some of it, but likely not. Likely not because there's too many gaps, so I think it probably won't, but there's also one card in the deck which gives you a free cross that you can put anywhere, and that doesn't take any space in the train windows, and it just gives you a free X to put anywhere on the board. Literally anywhere, it doesn't have to go off pre-existing lines or anything, you can just put an X anywhere you like, um, so that's a really good one, don't forget that. I mean, it might, it might not come out, but... If it does, that gives you a free a free X to put anywhere. So it's never like totally out of the question that you'll finish a line, but 
There's certain things that can make things more difficult for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the two. Skip here. One, two. Start my yellow line because I knew I only had space for two anyway. And then if I get, if I had a three skip, I would only get to here. But again, I'm going to have to use some skips to get around what's, what's going on here, basically. All right. New card coming up. We've got a three. I'm going to keep it simple, I think. And I think I'm just going to go with the pink. One, two, three. And just move it along that pink line, not causing any disruptions currently. Um, the orange line, I've not done anything in that yet. So I've got a space for one, two, three, four cards to fill in the gap there before I pick it up and then try and finish it off with the three. So it looks like I'm probably going to be okay finishing off the orange line, which is good. Can't finish off the red because I've screwed that up. The pink... We're just beginning on that, so perhaps that one will be all right. A lot of work to be done yet. The green, we've got some blockages in the green line. There's, you know, there's a bunch of things that are here that need skipping, so that's an issue. The yellow's doing okay. We'll just see what's going on. All right, I'm going to draw another card. Let's see what we've got. We've got a four. Okay. Right. Right, 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 right. What am I doing now? Well, I did just say the orange, a four on my orange line would be really good. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that in. One, two, three, four. And that fills in the gaps there. So it's getting me along that track without losing any numbers, without wasting any of the distance. Um, and it is causing some issues for this like teal line down here. Because look, there's one, two, then there's a break, then another one, then there's a break. And then continues. But there's two spaces. So maybe I could have like a skip three. And then like a three. And maybe I could finish it that way. Again all these lines are crossing over each other. So it gives you opportunity. To use all of the lines to help the other lines continue. And what I like about this game is. You know you start looking at it slightly differently. You go okay. I need to use these other lines. To, to make sure I can finish this line. In my case, I chose not to finish the red, but theoretically, if the card came out twice that allows me to fill in any X, then I could fill in these two, you know, X's just here and complete it, you know, by having filled this, the rest of the spaces with other lines, but it might not happen. All right, let's draw another card and see what we've got. We've got another three here. Okay. All right, so I might actually just go ahead and finish the orange line because I can. So I'm going to go ahead. As you can see, the orange line is full of X's all the way to this point. So I'll write a three here and then go one, two, three. And now I've completed that. So I'll circle that diamond number four, that gold number. If we were playing multiplayer, what would happen is we'd all play at the same time for each card. And at that point we would go, okay, is anyone complete? What lines have you completed? And then if whoever completed that line, you know, you would cross out. You you know, if you hadn't completed the B line, you would cross out the gold four. And now you can only get two points if you complete that line because I've completed it first. That's the only difference between multiplayer and solo is you're competing for completing the lines first in multiplayer. In solo, it's just you on your own trying to make as many lines as you can. But the core puzzle is the same because it's basically a solitaire game, um, you know, but... Bastcake says, Fucking fuck McFuckballs, I forgot your stream all over all the work and my shitty phone did not remind me. Grumpy Pumpkin. If you want to play this game, Bastcake, we're going to be playing it twice. So we're like halfway through the first game. Then what we'll do is we'll reset and we'll play it again. If you do exclamation mark game in the chat, you can get the game sheet. So when we play it again, you can just kind of watch the rest of this one go down. And then you'll be able to play along in the next game if you want to. But I'm sorry that the phone didn't remind you. Notifications seem weird with Twitch. Um, all right, I'm going to draw another card. Draw another card. It's a six and it will reshuffle the deck. So we didn't get these three cards coming out. And the whole deck will get reshuffled. And then we'll be playing cards again. 
So we never got the little free X that goes there. Um, but what will happen is we got a, a six. And again, you don't have to use the whole number. You can use part of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or if it gets blocked, then obviously you won't get to use the whole number. But this is a really good way of finishing tracks off with a with a beefy number like a six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That would be pretty good. It wouldn't complete the gray line, but it'd be really close to doing so. Hmm. Um... Bass says, are the numbers in the yellow round points? The yellow round, what? He said that again, sorry, Bass. Are the numbers in the yellow rounds, oh, the little shape, these shapes, they're points, yes. So along this, uh, next to all the letters, these are the points you score for completing the lines. So if you've completed pink, that will be scoring you seven points. Nicely done. Um, so a six. Where am I going to put that six? Hmm. I could go on the green line. Oh, there's loads of gaps in the green line. Pink line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. That could work. And that would fill in a gap on that. Hmm. Purple line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Purple line it is. Six. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Purple line complete. That's my second line complete. Diamonds. That's all right, Bassier. Yeah, yeah. I just wasn't here. Yeah. I mean, it looked, it's hard to, the definition's not there, it's for sure. Um, Ross can only get five from pink now. We're not playing those rules, belligerent. We're not playing those rules. We're playing solo rules. I can still get all the pink points I want. Oh, Board Game Italia says, posture check. All right. Crack, 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 crack. Thank you very much for the posture check, and thank you for stopping by. Basket says, nah, I'm good, thanks. Not interested in playing along. Just going to lurk and listen to your sexy ASMR-like voice. I really should, like, do, like, little recordings and monetize that. Like, you're feeling really sleepy. You're going to go to sleep. Closing your little brown eyes now, or whatever color they are. Um... This is a personalized message, but it's clear enough for you. Maybe your eyes are blue, yeah. Go to sleep, I don't care. And that would be one of the songs that would be on my ASMR uh, hit, al hit album. Rush doesn't want to compete with his viewers, I see. I do not. I don't dare compete with my viewers. I would, I would, I would always lose. I don't dare. I'm scared to compete with my viewers. Mainly just because we haven't been calling out when we've completed lines, so I might have missed if Tom's completed a line, for example, etc. So just to keep it simple, um, we're just going to play it this way. Also, it means if anyone else watches and plays, they don't have to pay attention to who completes lines uh, lines whenever. They can just do it. Have I done the six? Yes, I did the six. I did that. Okay, so now we've got to reshuffle the deck. Reshuffle the deck. All right, so all the cards go back in. Give the whole deck a shuffle again, and we continue playing. So the transfer the transfer cards are my least favorite because they're like really, um, really tricky. Uh, Toro B Games say, uh, so uh, you're confused, but uh, what that means is in multiplayer, the first person to complete a line will get the points in gold, seven points. The second person to complete a line will get five points. So if you were, you know, if you were playing with friends, each time you finish a card, each time you finish a go, you'd say, "Who's completed? Who's completed the line?" You go, "Oh yeah, I've, I've done, I've done, uh, I've done B, I've done B that line." So in this case, because we're playing it over the internet, I'm not doing that because it'll make it more complicated. Um, so we're just playing it like it's solo. But if you were playing with friends, you'd just be like, order, order, has anyone completed line B? I have. And then you would, people would mark it off. Basscake says, sorry for the off topic. Hey, that is 100% on topic. It's board game related. Actually, I don't really care what the topic is, to be fair. I like just people chatting, chat about whatever you want. But be, be respectful and tasteful, <laughs> is my only caveat. 
Uh, I've never played Aeon's End. I like the box art. That's all I can tell you about it. Bass says, I have to admit, it's hard to keep track. Um, yeah, Toro, Toro B Games. Don't, apolo don't apologize. Um, I think you can buy different maps. I, I, I might be wrong, but I thought they had expansions that had different maps. Um, maybe I've just made that up. Maybe that's a different game. All right, that is definitely shuffled. So I'm going to flip over and get a new card out. Boop. Oh, it's a skip too. Well, that would work on my yellow line. So I think that's where I'm going to put it. A two, a two, I bless you. Right. X, X. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be pretty tricky for me to finish this, um, this yellow line though. Maybe I should have gone with the green line. Nah, I'll leave it as it is. I'll leave it as it is. Tom says, I quite enjoy Tube Town. That's the map on the other side of this for anyone watching. Um, it's interesting that they're not all moving in the same direction. Mm, I've not tried Tube Town yet, so uh, that is something I'll... This is my third game of, of Metro X, but I'm looking forward to giving it a go. Uh, Toro B Game says, really, that would be really good if there were more maps. I do like both, but I find Metro City more challenging. Okay, that's interesting. I've only played this one, so I don't know about the other one yet, but I'm looking forward to trying it. I'm going to draw another card. Okay, and as you can see, I've not actually done anything on the blue line yet. Which is really interesting. That skip two would have been really good on the blue line. I should have done it there. What have we got? Oh, we've got six and another reshuffle. Damn, son. Six. Where am I going to put that six? Could go on the green. No, that's bad. Orange line's done. Uh, done, done. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yellow line's getting finished off, everyone. Beep, 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 boom. Six. That's what I needed to finish the yellow line. I thought I wasn't going to get it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yellow line complete. Then it'll be a reshuffle again. Very troublesome. Basscake says, okay, here's the plan. You play Aeon's End on the stream, so I won't have to learn the rules, and I can blame you if I end up spending a ton of money on it. Well, for one, Basscake... You know I'm not the best at teaching rules, <laughs> so I wouldn't I wouldn't want me to be your your teacher. I could I could play it and you could get a flavour for it. Does it have a solo? That's, that's that's the question. If it's got a solo, maybe. I did just buy a bunch of roll and write games though, so probably gonna be a, probably gonna be a while before I buy anything else. I am gonna shuffle the deck again because there's six. Yeah, again, look at that. That three was on the bottom. We're never gonna get to it. Never going to get to it. Let's give these a little riffle. A little riffle shuffle. Do -do 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 -do. Dun, dun, dun. All right. All right. Metro City is defo the better of the two maps. I wish they expanded to real cities. I've read that already, but I'm just thinking, I hope they have. It would be really easy for them to do it. Just do a new board with some different stations on it. And they could do, like, different countries. That would be super cool. This game is one to six players, Bast Cake. One to six. This edition, the Game Right edition, comes with six wipeable player boards. But really, if you print out the sheets, you can play with as many people as you want. Like, if you printed out the sheets and played on this side, you could play as many people as you wanted. Oh, Aeon's End. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I do, ap I do apologize. No, I apologize. No, no, me. I apologize. You don't need to. I apologize. Not you. Me. I apologize. This particular game could take infinite players. Yes. Aeon's End. I've no idea. Never played it. Never played it. All right. Let's go ahead and draw another card. Pa Pow! It's a skip two. Okay. Well, that suits my blue line, I think. Or do I go for something else? Right, let's have a look. Actually, this is... I need it here. Skip two, bump bound, and we're going to go one here, follow, skip, skip, and go there. Couple of problems on the old green line, but 
it does mean now I could finish I could finish this uh this eye line. Get the eye line complete. That's pretty good. It's, I, I mean I'm not I'm not doing amazing, but it's okay at the minute. There's still a chance for me here. There's a lot of lines filling up, so I've been waiting for the right things for certain lines, and soon I won't have a choice. Because there'll be nowhere to write things. If a transfer comes up, that's going to scupper me. Really, I'm hoping for maybe a free. If I got a freebie on the green line, that would be fantastic. But I don't see that necessarily happening. Let's take another card and see what happens. We've got a four. A four. I could move along the grate. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I'm never going to finish that line off anyway, unless there's a free. Oh, if I go along the pink. One, two, three, four. Oh, the blue, no, the blue's got loads of gaps in it. Green's got loads of gaps in it. Pink. Maybe pink's the one to go for. I can't complete A, so I should just stop looking at it. Can't do you. B's done. C, D. H, I said wasn't going to happen, so I could use that as a dumping ground. But really what I want to do is I want to move along on the pink line, I believe. Oh, hey, Aquasulis. How you doing? One, two, three, four. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Thank you for the host, Loser Palooza. I do appreciate it. I'm going to be playing another game of this afterwards. So if you do want to join in, exclamation mark game. We're going to raid everyone. Raid! Rage! Oh, hey, gang. We're playing Metro X. I will be playing a another game of this when this one finishes. If you want to take part, exclamation mark game. You can download the game sheet and join in if you want to join in. I, I only just got this this week, Mark, so I'm really, I'm really liking this game. It's a cool game. We're most of the way through this one, so we're getting towards the end of it. But I like this game a lot. This is my third game of it today. And I, I played it twice earlier so I could like see how it worked. Raid! Um, but now I'm playing it for the third time. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I did a little tweet saying like, hey, what are some good rolling rights? And there was loads of amazing suggestions. This was one of them. And it was a game I've wanted for a long time. But it wasn't in stock in the UK. But Game Right have made a new cool version with wipeable boards. And so I've got this one now. Pretty cool. Um, okay, another card. What have we got? Skip two. I think that's probably good on my blue line now because blue had a lot of problems, but so does green, actually. So do I go ahead and go on the green line? One, and then we'd carry on doo -doo 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 -doo, up to there. Hmm. That could be useful. I'm running out of options, to be fair. So gray line, that's not doing anything for me. This line, no, I need bigger numbers. This green line here, I need to do something about this green line. So let's go ahead and put the two on that there and go the little cross here. Follow it around the track. It skips all of the filled in stations and goes to the next available stop. There we go. There we go. All right. It's getting down, it's getting down to it. There's a few lines I'd like to complete still. I'd like to complete the green line still. I'd like to complete this bottom one for four points. The gray, that's done. Nothing going to happen with that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Meh. If I could finish the blue, I'd need a one, two, three, and a free one. Unlikely. All right, let's draw another card. See what is going on. Three. Three. Well, that would be good, actually, to complete this teal line up here. Oh, that's four. Learn to count, Ross. That is not the number I I thought it was. Hmm, this is now getting spicy. I'm maybe going to need free stuff to be able to complete things. Blue, I've not done anything on the blue line yet, so maybe I just take a hit on the blue line. Maybe I just cross out one on the blue line. Because I'd still be able to get like a four or something else to complete it, so doesn't doesn't destroy my chances so maybe i'm going to do that i'll just sacrifice the three to the blue line just put that here boop, boop, and don't cross out anything more 
Or I could, no, actually, I'd already said earlier, I'd already said earlier that the gray line was done, but I'm starting to think maybe it's possible. I shouldn't be fooling myself with it because it's not. Because it's actually not. So I'm going to do three in the gray line and go one, two, and it hits another station and stops. Can't you complete the green D with that one? Green D. I could. I could. Maybe I should. Okay. You twisted my arm. You twisted my arm. I think you're right. Let's go ahead and do that. I got I got green blindness because I was distracted by this other little right angle line and I was looking at that. But you're 100% right. Let's get a three there. One, two. And it's also helping me out on that line as well, which means now I've completed the, the D line. Thank you very much. I appreciate the tip. I appreciate the tip. All right. Let's go ahead and draw another card to see what we got going on. We've got a free one. Bam, bam, bam. Free. Doesn't need to take it a space up in the window of anywhere. This can go anywhere you want. Any way you want it. That's the way you need it. Any way you want it. Um, so where is that going to go? I mean, if I got two free, I would be able to complete this red. But it's only two points. So I don't know if that's great. The gray line is a... It's No, not going to happen. Stop Stop it, Ross. Stop it. It's not happening. The blue line is looking pretty good. But a little X there could help me on my way. So maybe I could do that. Just to help me so I, it's, it's less trouble. This is, you know, got a few there. The pink line needs a bit of work, but it's okay. So I think maybe I'll go with the blue and I'll just cross out a little X here. Yeah? Sure. No? Yes. Let's do that. A little X there. So again, the free goes any way you want. If you can arrange for the next card to be a five or a six, that would be good. Okay, I'll have a little, um, uh, excuse me. I've got, a, could this, could you, um, it's like a magic trick. I'm going to like flick it and it's going to be, it's going to be a five or a six. You know, when you get a magician, they're like, I'm going to slap the card and then it, now it's a five, right? You ready? Boop. There you go. Magic. You're welcome, Tom. You are welcome. A little bit of magic for you there, everyone. A little bit of the old razzle-dazzle. A little bit of the old razzle-dazzle. What am I doing with a six? Uh, I could finish the blue line. I could finish the pink line. The teal, I could finish several lines. Six is probably to, um... Yeah, that is magic. I mean, no one can prove otherwise. No one can prove that wasn't magic. That was definitely magic. Flip it. Flip it. I think Bass might be a little bit behind in the chat. Um, right. A magic trick. Thanks for the thanks for the clip. Thanks for the clip, belligerent. That's what I need. I need the clips of when. It's a kind of magic. Um, magic. Blue. One, two, three, four. I, the, the most I can get out of a line is four, but maybe let's just make get the pink line finished because it's worth the most points. Yeah? Yeah? How about that? Yeah? One, two, three, four, six. Pink line complete. All right, we got a reshuffle. We got a reshuffle. I mean, get your requests in. If there's anything else you want the cards to be, if you want it to have like a... Uh, a dog on it, or if you want it to uh, be a mirror that's got your face in it, just let me know, and I'll I'll flick the card and I'll flip it, and it'll it'll be it'll whatever you want. <laughs> that's the level of magic. I've, I never overpromise. I never overpromise. And when it comes to magic, I never overpromise. Whatever whatever you want, you do have to be a subscriber. <laughs> For me to do the magic, though. One more five plus in the last few cards. I can do that for Tom, because Tom's subbed. Tom gets access to magical powers by subscribing <laughs> to my Twitch channel. 
That's how it works. That is how cheap I am as a magician. Just requires you to <laughs> just requires you to uh, to do a pro uh, do a subscription. All right, let's see what we've got. I uh, I could do with maybe. I need some kind of like if I got a little if it finished the blue and I got a one, two, three. If I got a three skip and a freebie, I could actually finish the gray line. The blue is looking sweet. Do we need three or four places empty at this point? You don't want any places empty. Uh, but I've got one, two, three, four spaces empty. So I believe it should be four. Sorry, that was the question. I misinterpreted the question. And now I know what you mean. Four, four little sections of the train empty. Aquasulis says magic is available in sub only mode. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, Tom's got four spaces left. Here we go. Basket's got a funny story. Gather around everyone. Funny story time. I'm teaching a year five right now, and they were supposed to write a description of an animal, actually a camel. So they had to do some research on some kind of body parts of camel first. Here we go. Uh, when we were talking about the legs and feet, stupid me told them to Google how the camel toe looks like. Oh, RIP me. Hashtag next time think first. Whew. Kids gotta learn sometime. Kids gotta learn sometime. Possibly too soon. Possibly too soon. All right. It is... <laughs> it's a dangerous place on the internet. Uh, so that is definitely a whoops, Mac. That is definitely a whoops. <laughs> All right, let's draw another card, see what we've got. A skip two, you say? Huh. Is that useful for me? Is that good enough? A skip two. I could use that on the blue line. that would keep that blue line moving. Let's do it on the blue line. Because it's not super great on any of the other lines. The gray line. I'm saying it's dead weight, but I'm holding out hope. This line needs a three. So blue line's my only choice right now. So we'll go skip two on the blue. One, two. Along the blue line. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. How has the blue line got so full without anything written in it? That's magic. Can't wait for their parents to call in. <laughs> uh, Bass says, the administration of this game is too much for me. It is, I think maybe, maybe just take you a couple of games. I really like this kind of stuff, but it's very busy. Um, two on gray would avoid you needing a future skip, but there's a three skip in the deck, Mac. That's what I want. One, two, three skip. It would fill in my last spot and then, and then Mac, hopefully I can get a freebie and can complete the gray line. That's what I'm hoping for. It's unlikely, but that's what I'm hoping for. Two on the gray would also be the last space in the gray carriage. Exactly, Tom, exactly. So I'm holding out for a three skip and then a freebie. I have the same issue on the blue line. Mac, just got some, just work some more of your magic, Ross. Yeah, the old... These old, these old things, these old magic things. Joe Jute says, I wrote down the numbers. I need to fill in the lines in front of the letters. That might help with the administration. Yeah, that's a really good way of doing it, to be fair. Um, you know, you could write little, I mean, it's a wipeable board. Just write all over it if you want. For me, I, um, I kind of like these kind of puzzles. So they don't, they don't stress me out. But I, I, I've got a bunch of friends that would be like, oh, with a game like this because there's lots of options or there's a lot of visual information there's a lot of visual information all at the same time and i have to remind myself to look here to see what my options actually are because it's very easy to start looking all over the place and you have to go no i've only got gh and i that's all i have to choose from so only focus on that trying to roll it says jazz hands a little bit of that jazz Cash Liam says, this version of the game is too easy. It's the only one I've played 
so I could not comment. But there's another... Cash, do you mean like the other side is your preference? Um, or, or like literally um, this version, as in this version, is too easy? Or do you prefer Tube Town, which is the map on the other side? Let's draw another card, see what we're getting. Here we go. Bow. It's a four. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So maybe I'll just conclude this line here. I will just finish off this this line with a four. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. One, two, three, four. And we get some more points. Ah. That says, come on, Cash Liam, don't put us down. Cash Liam, I'm really sorry. My eyesight's not good enough to see the, um, I just thought it was Cash Liam, and I'm like, yeah, it's Liam, and he's rich. Um, Cash Liam. My bad. Misread your name. Welcome, by the way. Uh, original Japanese version is harder. Good to know. More twos that aren't skips. Ah, uh, okay. I wonder why they I wonder why they changed it then. I wonder why they changed it. Maybe they wanted to make it friendlier for more of a mass market. I don't I mean like Aquasula says, I guess game right have a preferred level. Could be that. Could be that. I mean, development choices are always made for a reason. So if they want to make it more family friendly, that could be why they did it. What I could say is you could you could adjust the deck yourself. For example, you could say um, you could just change a skip to a non-skip, put a little put a little gold star on it, and be like, "That one's not a skip." So if you thought that this game had too many cards that um, that uh, were making it easy for you, that's a way that's a way you could reverse it. You could just like put a little sticker on a card, a little removable sticker, and that would let you know what it should be. It's, I know it's not an ideal fix, but it's a way of uh, rejigging it if you want to bring it back in line with the Japanese version. Um, Metro X Legacy Edition. Exactly. Exactly. All right. See you, Booker Nerds. Thanks for stopping by. I'd love to skip some years, says Bass Cake. Wouldn't we all? Wouldn't we all? Um... I'd love some skips right now. It says Aquasulis. Are you talking about the crisps? Because I I love skips. Skips are a real good crisp. Um, and Max says, oh yeah, I haven't had those for ages. Mm, yeah, skips are great. Prawn cocktail are one of my favorite flavor crisps. So I'm always like pro con prawn cocktail. Prawn cocktail. Tom says, need a five on the next two cards. Would accept a free and also a four. All right, well, what I'll do is... I would like a free, so I'm just going to go ahead and this will be a free, right? Can we just agree? This one's a free. Do it with the old razzle-dazzle jazz hands. Alakazam! All right, so this is a free. It's not, it's a four, sorry. Misfire. Misfire on the magic. It's a four, everyone. Maybe the magic's wearing off. I've only, oh, shoot. Shoots and ladders. I'm running out of time. One, two, so I've completed the blue with the four. So the only line I've not completed is the gray and the red at present. Barely no transfers have come out in this game. That's really interesting. Normally, um, normally the, uh, the uh, transfers come through quite a lot and they mess up your game quite a lot. We've only had, what, two transfers? So I actually think... Um, I actually think that's, uh, that's... <laughs> See you, Jess. Thanks for stopping by. Back to work you go. All right. Enjoy the rest of your work day. Basscake. Basscake here. You can see how he gets into trouble. You can see how Basscake gets into trouble. Misfire, everyone. Here we go again with the Ross Bedroom quotes. Eee. I mean, I'm not the one who just got a kid to Google ga camel toe. I'm just gonna... That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm gonna say. Right, we're going to have another card. This one's going to be a freebie, though. This one, I can feel it. I can feel it in my fingers. Feel it in my toes. This one is a zero. 
And so the magic goes. Oh, it's a transfer. I was just talking about those. Maybe I was thinking about transfers too much and that's what happened. The Crafting Social says, got a dash, love the stream, Ross. Looking forward to the next one. Also, just about to order Mech Show X. Do it. Enjoy your evening, folks. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great evening. And enjoy Metro X when it shows up, because it's a cool game. It's a transfer, and that will be signifying the end of the game. There's nowhere good for me to place this. So I'm just going to go ahead and place it where the only place I can, which is draw an X here. There's only one line going through it, which equals two points. That really cost you. That really I'm sorry, Tom. The magic wore off. You only got... um. You only get one free magic trick per stream. That's that's <laughs> that's unfortunately all all I can provide. Okay, now we do the scoring. This is the fun part. Count all of your gold, all of your golds. So I've got 4 9 13 17 22 29 33 completed lines 33 points. All right transfers and this is where you look at the numbers you've written in four six and two so 12 on the old transfers because there wasn't very many of them in this game then how many empty have you got one two three four five five empty five empty equals minus one five minus one i'll leave the little empty sheet on the screen for you if you need to see how many empty you got and how many points you'll lose. Uh, 35. No, can't count. 45, 44. 44 point, 44 points. According to the rules, 44 points says, I prefer, I possess professional level skill. Tom got 46. Obviously, Tom beat me. Ugh. God damn it, Tom. And obviously, also, Tom's like, oh, that one really cost me. Oh, I still beat you. Didn't cost you enough, Tom. Didn't cost you enough. All the fours, droopy draws, says Mac. <laughs> 44, pants on the floor. Tom says, if I'd got a five on that last line, I'd have hit the 50s. Wasn't to be was not to be all right i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna play again i'm gonna do another game but i'm gonna do it faster